In this lesson, we're going to learn how to play Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash. It starts off with this line. The line starts on the fifth string on the second fret. Play that note three times. Go to the first fret of the fourth string. Hit the note twice. Back to that first note, the second fret of the fifth string. Reach up to the 3rd fret of the 6th string, the low E string, play that G note, do a bend, pull off and hit the open E, and then it's, you're, you're back at the E chord. The strum I'm doing is kind of a variation on the Johnny Cash Boom Chicka. That's something you can experiment around and, 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 and find what feels good for you. I'm palm muting with the right hand to give kind of a staccato sound. I'm lifting up on this hand too a little bit. So you get that kind of, you know, like I said, that boom chicka boom chicka type rhythm going. So we're at our E chord. Now our next chord is an A. To get to that A chord, we're going to do a, another little bass line kind of a thing. We're going to go open E string, 2nd fret, 5th fret, and we're going to hit the 5th string open, which is part of our A chord. And we're going to use our 5th our string and our 6th string, doing the alternating bass strum. Then we go back to the E. Now we're going to go to a B7 chord next. E, A, and B7 are the three chords in the song. So when we go to the B7, we have another little bass line. We're simply, we're at our E. We're going to hit that second fret of the fifth string again. Then the open fifth string, first fret, which is going to take us back to the second fret of the fifth string again. And this time we're in a B7 shape. And we play our B7 chord, similar strum. And uh, I'm alternating the bass note between the second fret of the fifth and the second fret of the sixth string. Some people play that with their thumb over. I use uh, this finger this way. So, and then the next part, we got to get back to that E chord. We're going to do two, two, one, oh, excuse me, two, two, one on the fifth string. This time we're on the second fret of the, the uh, sixth string. the open string to the E chord. So here's what we've got. Beginning goes to the E chord. Bass walk up to the A chord. Back to the E. So those are the parts that go together to make the, uh, the song work. E chord, A chord, E chord to the B7 chord. Now there's a lead part. Um, we can do that up here. We can kind of get that sound up here. do that, the way we can do that, we have our E shape, we're going to lift up our index finger and then hammer on to that where it was, the first fret of the third string. And then we're going to hit the second string, put our pinky down on the third fret of the, of the second string, and then we're going to third open, third open. Then we're just going to keep our, a our E chord shape and just hit the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings to the A chord. Now we can just stay on the A chord 
and you can kind of target some of these notes in here because there's kind of a, a, a line that moves through the A chord. Kind of get a, a bit of the feel of the original lead. If you just start on the third string and hit the second string, then the first string, and then put your little finger down on the third fret of the uh, first string. You just played an A note, a uh, C sharp, an E, and a G. So you just played a, an A arpeggio, which leads back to the E chord. A7 arpeggio, I should say. And we have this. Same, same line we used before, the B7 chord. So once again, that if you're playing it and you want to play sort of a lead part, That's another way you can do it. If you, you can stay on that A chord, or you can also play this A chord, come up to the 5th fret, 2nd uh, string, 5th fret, 1 uh, string up on the 3rd fret, 6th uh, fret, 3rd string, 6th fret, and the 7th fret of the 4th string. And that's a nice way to play an A chord, by the way. So. Then you can move up to another chord, the 9th fret of the 3rd string, 10th of the 2nd, and the 11th fret of the 4th string. Those are, those are just different voicings of an A chord, kind of inversions. So, so when you get to that lead part, you can either do it this way, I said the strumming kind of a boom chick of feel I'm muting with my right hand I'm lifting up here and sometimes the lifting up of the E chord is pretty pronounced so that's something you can experiment with too but anyway there's all the parts to uh, Folsom Prison Blues and I hope this was a helpful lesson thanks <laughs>